Guys, if you are looking for a fantastic server dashboard for monitoring purposes, to monitor your critical servers, your applications, your network services, websites, physical server hardware, virtualized infrastructure, virtual machines, SNMP, NetFlow, and the list goes on and on. I'm going to show you guys one of the fantastic tools that I'm using in my home lab network to monitor all of my critical services and to create beautiful server, network, and virtualization infrastructure management dashboards. Stick around, I'm excited to introduce you guys to this tool. I'm going to introduce you guys to a server monitoring dashboard solution known as PRTG. PRTG is a fully featured solution that allows you to create and customize your monitoring solution to fit your needs. One of the awesome things about PRTG is even though it's not an open source solution, PRTG allows you to run a 100 sensor free environment. That means you can download the 30 day free trial and run with enterprise features for that 30 days. However, after the 30 days expires, you can run 100 free sensors in your home lab. Now for many and their home labs, that will be plenty of sensors to play around with and perhaps monitor your whole home network as well as your lab gear. PRTG is a great solution that allows you to monitor your infrastructure in your home lab network and production environments and elsewhere. They have a whole suite of monitoring and dashboard solutions allowing you to effectively monitor devices, applications, virtual infrastructure, and many others. I've been using PRTG in the home lab now for quite some time, and I can tell you it is one of the easiest solutions that I have seen to deploy for monitoring and for dashboarding purposes. And one of the really nice advantages of PRTG is that it is an agentless solution. So it means you don't have to install agents on your Windows servers, your Linux boxes, or setting up complex monitoring solutions on your virtual infrastructure. PRTG just simply points to that infrastructure and it monitors that infrastructure using agentless monitoring with very common protocols such as SNMP, WMI, HTTPS, SSH, NetFlow, and many others as you see in the list here. One of the other really cool things that I like about PRTG is that it is a sensor-based solution. It includes over 250 pre-configured sensors that allows you to first add the device that you want to monitor and to dashboard, and then you add the relevant sensors for that particular device. Don't worry, PRTG has you covered with an automated network discovery where it scans the network, adds the devices automatically, and it can also add the relevant sensors to monitoring that particular device, vendor, or technology. So all in all, it's just an awesome solution that I highly recommend in the home lab for monitoring and for dashboarding purposes. To install PRTG, you need a Windows host to install the solution on. And as far as I'm aware, you as of yet cannot install PRTG server component on a Linux OS. And PRTG, if you see this video, that would be an awesome enhancement, allowing us to use free and open source operating systems for that purpose. Nonetheless, Windows works great for the PRTG solution, and I've had no issues running PRTG on top of Windows Server. But that is something to keep in mind. Let's see how we can install PRTG. In order to install PRTG, we need to first download the installation file. The easiest way to get to the page that I have displayed here is simply Google PRTG download, and you're going to arrive at the Pessler download site for PRTG. Click the free download button. PRTG will begin downloading. Now that we have the product downloaded, we can see that we have the installer located in our downloads directory. So I'm simply just double clicking the installer, we're going to launch the install application, which will begin the process to install PRTG server. The installer has now displayed and we simply select our language of choice, click OK, accept the EULA, 
On the next step, we enter our email address to continue the installation. On the installation mode, we can choose either the Express, which is recommended, or we can customize the installation. Here, we're simply going to leave the Express installation selected and click Next. The installer begins unpacking files and begins the installation. The PRTG installation will set up a local web server and you will see this open and display the status for the remainder of the PRTG server installation. After finishing the installation of PRTG Network Monitor, the server component, we can log in to the system with the default PRTG admin PRTG admin. At this point, we have successfully installed the PRTG network monitor server component. As you can see, PRTG automatically starts running a network discovery in the environment. It automatically finds VMware hosts, Windows servers, Linux servers, and then it automatically adds the relevant sensors to those devices so that we can correctly monitor all of those key performance indicators and start building out our server dashboard. Now that we have PRTG installed, let's install the PRTG desktop component. The PRTG desktop component is the graphical user interface that you can install on your client operating system or numerous client operating systems and connect to the PRTG server and pull all of your metrics and dashboard information right down to your client. Now that we have the PRTG server installation completed, we can now download the PRTG desktop solution. So just simply Google for PRTG desktop download and you will arrive at the screen we see here. Now, as you notice, it's a free download that you can download for Windows 64-bit, Windows 32-bit, Mac OS, and Linux. So while the PRTG server cannot run on a Linux platform, the PRTG desktop can run on Linux as well. So let's download the Windows 64-bit executable, and then we will run the installation. So after launching the PRTG desktop installation, we have the splash screen to install PRTG desktop. So I'm simply just going to click install, accept the UAC prompt. And if you have any files in use, let's say close applications and restart them, setup progress is initializing. We have the PRTG desktop installation completed. So we can click the launch button. Now we simply want to select the option connect to my server. And now we can save our connection. And we get the notice of the untrusted certificate for our PRTG server. So we're going to choose to trust it anyway. And we get this introductory wizard of sorts. We're going to next through. It shows us some of the keyboard shortcuts that we can use with the interface. And that's it. The PRTG desktop interface has now been installed. And one of the things we want to do is change this eye bleeding white to the dark mode. So let's navigate to updates and theme, and we're going to change the UI theme to dark. And we want to restart the desktop now. Well, now that we have PRTG server as well as PRTG desktop installed, what does it look like for our monitor? And now we have access to our PRTG desktop so we can start looking and taking a look at all of the automatically added monitors that we have in our PRTG server solution. As you can see, we automatically have many different sensors that have been added from the network scan in the environment. We've got an internet sensor. We've got devices that have been added, DNS, Active Directory. We've got Windows systems that have been added, client servers. We've got virtual systems that we've automatically added. And as you can see, we're automatically pulling all of this information from vCenter as well as Hyper-V systems that I have running in the environment. And this was no work, no agents to install. And PRTG automatically adds what it thinks is relative sensors to those devices, which is fantastic. Well, I'm going to show you guys around my PRTG installation and the devices and technologies that I am monitoring with the PRTG solution. And it is awesome, as you're going to see. In my VMware vSphere environment, PRTG automatically pulls all of the metrics for virtual machines that I have running in the environment. When you spin up a new virtual machine, PRTG automatically adds that virtual machine to monitoring in your VMware vSphere environment. 
And as you can see, I have tons of virtual machines that I've added as well as AWS environments that I'm monitoring, internet checks, physical hosts, and one of the nice things that you can do with uh, PRTG aside from the general uptime statistics is it pulls all of the ESXi host information, data store statistics, performance metrics, CPU usage, memory, disk. Here I have a domain controller that I'm monitoring and also I have a camera network that I continuously monitor to make sure the cameras are available and that I don't have any down in that particular network. So really awesome functionality and features. And as you can see, it graphically displays everything in an easy to read green for good and red for bad or something wrong in an error state. So it's really easy to see in your server dashboard. So guys, what do you think about PRTG server dashboards, server monitoring dashboards, and network monitoring dashboards? PRTG, I have found, is a fully featured solution that allows you to monitor practically anything. If you're looking at monitoring servers, hardware, applications, web technologies, physical hardware, network hardware and statistics, internet monitoring, and all of those general monitoring use cases, and just simply creating awesome server monitoring dashboards as I've shown you guys, PRTG is fantastic. Well, I'm Brandon Lee. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please do smash that like button and do subscribe to the channel. I hope you guys are doing well. Please stay safe out there, keep on home labbing, and as always, I will see you guys soon.